What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for coming back to the Up Next uh, YouTube channel. As always, your host, AJ Levitt, is here. In today's video, we're going to be going over coursing through the Clover Dining app on Clover POS. This is a very common request, how to set up coursing. My business needs coursing, so that's exactly what we're going to get into right now. So first, as always, we're going to start on the home screen, and then we're going to navigate over to Clover Dining. Clover Dining is located right here. You'll see the fork and the spoon on the blue plate. If you do not have this available on your device, that means you have to upgrade your Clover software plan to allow Clover Dining on your POS system. Now we're gonna click over here on Clover Dining. And right when you click on Clover Dining, it's gonna take you to your table layout. Obviously you have multiple different places. You have your main dining room, backyard, patio, and bar more. This is great for bar tabs, just as a side note. But for right now, we're gonna be going over to our hamburger menu on the top left corner. And then we're gonna go over to almost at the bottom. Um, we're gonna click on settings. Once we click on settings, we're gonna navigate over to coursing, which is located right here. This is how you activate coursing. So first and foremost, you wanna enable coursing by just turning that toggle option on. You'll know it's on when, the blue, uh, when that toggle option becomes blue. Now with coursing, you have a couple different options here. So we're gonna go through that, right? So option number one is manual coursing, server fires, courses automatically. This is, a, this is something you have to decide as far as your business operations goes because there's manual coursing and auto coursing. So for manual courses, for example, what this means is the employee is going to define what food items go to what course. For example, appetizers would generally be course one and your main entrees like a steak or something like that would be course two and dessert would be course three. Now, if your restaurant fires course one first and you hold course two and three, this manual setting will mean that your bartender, your server, whoever it is, will have to go back into the check, back into the POS system and manually fire course two whenever needed. If you select auto coursing, for example, we'll know that there's a default time in between courses. So for example, if course one goes out and then let's say 15 minutes later, you wanna have course two fire automatically. Just hit apply here. And 15 minutes after course one successfully fires over to the kitchen, course two will then fire 15 minutes after that. And course three, another 15 minutes or so after that. Now, a lot of restaurants we tend to see do manual coursing just so um, they're not rushing the customer out and not overloading the kitchen. But auto coursing, depending on your business's operations will work perfectly. So for this video, we're gonna go over to manual coursing, make sure all your settings are correct, and then we're gonna hit this back button right here. There is no save button on this screen for the record, so don't go crazy looking for that save button. Now we click over back, click one more time, and now we're over back to our main dining room. So I'm just gonna give you guys an example on the coursing. We're gonna click on a table here, wait for the table to open up, and then of course you're gonna have your categories on your left and your items on the right. So let's click on our chicken tacos. Let's pretend that is our appetizer. Extra chicken and no pico. Bad option, but some people do that. Then we're gonna click on our burrito, which we'll pretend is our course two, for example. So now we have this all set up and ready. All right. So now that we have our items set up properly into the cart from the customer, now let's go through the coursing option, right? So now we hit our three dots right here, and then we click on coursing. Once you click on coursing, it's gonna list out all the items in the customer's cart. Let's say the chicken tacos, as we said before, would be the appetizer. We're gonna keep that under course one. And then the chicken burrito will be our main course, our main entree. So we're gonna label that as course number two, right? Let that load for a second. And now we're gonna click on continue on the bottom right corner. So now this is where it's important, right? So course one, we're gonna fire now and course two, we are going to hold. Once we select those options, we're gonna click on confirm. And now we can see right here on the left side as our kitchen printer is going crazy. Restaurant owners, you probably hear that sound in your sleep, so nothing new to you guys. So now we have chicken tacos have printed out in course one. And then course number two has not printed, so you will not see the printed option right here. But it's being held for course number two. In the kitchen, this is generally what the ticket will look like. It will show course one, chicken tacos, modifiers, of course, in red, and what table it is in the main dining room. So the kitchen now has this, right? So let's say the entrees come out and uh, the customers are super, super happy. They are ready for their entrees. So now they have eaten their appetizers. It's time for the entrees. Very, very simple here. You can click right here on the three dots, 
click on coursing, and then we're going to continue and fire course number two. Once you click confirm, you'll hear your kitchen printer go crazy in the kitchen once again. And that means that your kitchen staff has received the second course for that customer. Just another great way, another great feature for sit down restaurants that Clover has added. Any questions on coursing, anything that we missed, please comment on the video below or shoot us an email at info at upnexa.com. That's I-N-F-O at upnexa, U-P-N-E-X-A.com for more information. As always, please like this video and subscribe to the Upnexa YouTube channel for future Clover videos and all things credit card processing and POS systems. Thank you so much. We'll catch you guys next time.